Welcome to Radford University's Notebook 10 software tutorials. This tutorial will provide an overview of the media available to users in the Gallery Collections tab and demonstrate the use of the search function to create a page like you see on your screen. The Gallery Collection contains images, audio visuals, and flash media that is organized in a six folder menu. Let's go up to the Gallery tab and open up the Gallery Collection. The tab is the tab with the icon that is a picture frame left click and you'll see that this opens up a sidebar with a search box which we'll use later to create our page and a box with six folders that are the different types of media organized by source. There are two sources of media or two folders with one source of media which is the internet. The Smart Learning Marketplace requires membership but is a single source of digital content from online. Online Essentials does not require a membership and has quick links to different sources of media and contains uh, links to sources such as lesson activities, curriculum standards, and a very nice exchange for educators that allows you to share your work with that work of other educators around the wor world. The Themes folder contains 23 backgrounds that can be inserted into presentations, mostly in pastel colors. My Content is a folder in which you can save media that you have found while browsing the collections. You can see that I've saved a number of backgrounds and pictures. Essentials for Educators and Gallery Sampler are very large databases of all types of media. These are organized in two different ways. One is by subject area and you can find a menu of those subject areas by left clicking on the gray triangle and this will give you a drop down menu of all the different subject areas for that database. and you can make that drop down menu disappear by left clicking again. Okay. Essentials for Educators also has all of the same media that you found in the drop down menu by subject area organized by type of media. That media can be in the form of images found in pictures and backgrounds. Interactive and multimedia folder holds media with sound or movement and videos. The notebook files and pages contains files of pages that are pre-formatted. Some of these are just pictures of maps, calendars, and test forms. There's also a file for related folders and that will have images and other types of media for related but not exactly what you're looking for. For example, if you use, you'll see this mostly when you use the search box. Okay, so now we kind of have an idea of how the gallery tab collection is organized. And so we're going to start using it to create our own rainforest scene. Let's get out of this page. We can just add a page. Go up to the blue arrow and left, and left click and that will add a second page in here. Let's use the search box. This is going to make it much faster and easier for us to, to make our page. When you use the search box, you don't have to go through all of the collections one by one. You can just type in the theme that you're interested in and click on the little magnifying glass and that will give you all of the folders for with media pertaining to Rainforest. I like this Rainforest scene. It's down in the notebook files and pages. And I'm just going to click on it and then drag it over here and drop it in. Now I need to populate it with some animals. I don't think it's going to be in backgrounds and pictures, but in related folders we might find some folders. There you go. See, I'm interested in some mammals. 
Let's go up to Mammals. Open that file. And I'm going to look for Tiger. There he is. I'm going to click and just drag him over here. Set him down. He's a little small, so I'm going to click on him and this will open up a, an editing box. And pull that circle out and make him bigger. And maybe just reposition him a little bit and then click outside of the box to get rid of the edit box. Alright, that's alright. I know that there's a monkey in one of the interactive files, the multimedia files, and I'm going to type in monkey and see if I can find that monkey. There he is down here at the bottom under interactive and multimedia. And you can tell that this image will have sound because it has a little megaphone here. So we're going to pick him up and drag him up to the trees. Be a treetop monkey. And he's a little bit large compared to the tiger, so let's just edit this a little bit by squeezing in the circle and then pull him back down into the tree. Let's check and make sure the sound is working. So you just click on that, megaphone. Well, that's perfect. Okay. We could continue adding in images of other types of animals, but I think you get the point and you could play with this a little bit yourself. In today's tutorial, we have very quickly explored the library of multimedia that Gallery Collection contains and use the search function in Gallery to start our own Rainforest project. This concludes our Radford University Notebook 10 software tutorial. Thank you.